Welcome to Mechanical Tutorials. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. Hi, today I am going to explain about swept surface. Here I am going to explain how to create wave shape, tenicoid and bracelet shape. So this is a simple wave shape using surface swept. using swept surface and this is simple bracelet shape and tenicoid ring see usually we know that whenever we create any circular shape we will try to create with revolve feature but today I am going to show you how to create these kind of shapes with swept surface so let's start now so here I have created two profiles. So I have created simple spline. But engineering practice, we should not create uh, splines at all. We have to create always arcs. But for simplicity, I have created the spline. So I have created this spline in the front plane. And uh, other spline in the right plane so we can create any shape using spline and we have to coincide with this spline and this end point so we have to coincide this Then we have to go to surface, swept surface, see this, this will be the profile, this is nothing but cross section and this is the path. So these kind of shapes are useful for automobile components which are made in sheet metal or plastics. Here we can add thickness to the surface. So 1 mm both sides. So thickness is added. So next I am going to show you how to create a bracelet shape. Here I have created one circle. This is in right plane. And one more arc on the top plane. And here also these two lines should coincide. I mean this end point and this arc should coincide. And similarly, we have to go to swept surface and we have to select the profile and this is path. So this is how it created. Now, I want to create this circular rib. So what we have to do is we have to go to 3D sketch. We have to select this edge and convert entity. So it creates one sketch. We have to say OK. We have to go to top plane, we have to create select sketch and we have to select circle. So better visibility I am creating large circle. So we have two sketches, one is 
this sketch and this circular one so we have to go to surface once again swept surface here also we have to select this edge and we have to go to 3d sketch and convert into it say okay in top plane we have to create one more sketch now let's go to swept surface and select this sketch say okay see here so for better visibility i have created bigger circle later we can trim the surfaces so this is how we create swept surface so next is tenicoid select top plane go to sketch here we have to go to center point arc place it here see this one should be closed loop so select this point and this point make it merge and this center and origin should be horizontal here we can give to 200 we can make it 100 so this is defined now so this circle is in top plane now we have to select front plane we have to go to sketch and exactly at the origin we have to create one circle so this one should also should be closed loop earlier we have taken center point arc here we are taking directly circle so we can give any radius or diameter so i'm giving 100 say okay surface swept surface select so any coat it looks like a donut and there are many other options so i'm going to explain with with other better examples so this is brief about swept surface thank you